It would have been an absolute miracle if this had worked on the first try. Welcome to this episode of Keysight Buys Me Toys. That was the don't say out loud part. I'm gonna drive this car with just a function generator. No touching. I think it's possible, otherwise I don't know what I'm gonna put in my expense reports. The first step is to figure out how this works. This is a 2.4 gigahertz system, so I can't just slap an antenna on the front of my function generator. I'm gonna have to hack into the remote and hopefully I can duplicate the signals going into the antenna. It looks like we have an RF communications add-on type board and a bunch of digital controls on this board. So we should be able to grab the signals through here and just pipe them in with the function generator. Ideally, we can just record the RF control signals coming off of this and replay them with the function generator. Let's take a look and see what they actually look like with our oscilloscope. There's a lot of stuff going on here. I worked on this for over an hour and there's at least three sets of controls. There's a steering line, a throttle line, and these configuration settings. So I could probably reverse engineer the whole thing or we can find a more simple solution. And I'm always a fan of the simple route whenever it makes sense. So let's see what else we can figure out here. After probing around for a while, I see that the throttle and the steering control are both controlled by a potentiometer. They actually look like guitar potentiometers. But if I hook up to that middle pin and change the throttle, we can actually watch the voltage change on the scope. So I got the steering probed in there too. Technically, here's what's actually happening. There's a voltage applied across the potentiometer, and as the controls move, the resistance changes. This voltage change goes into an ADC in the chip, and that gets translated into a control position. And what we can do is basically just control the line on these potentiometers. We could build out a full driving sequence. So this is it. This is how we're gonna control the car. We can capture moves with the remote on the scope take those waveforms and put them on the function generator. And then from the function generator, just pipe those signals into the remote and we can control it without touching it. Let's just try it out and start with the steering. Maybe I can steer it with this little steering wheel knob. And as I move the dial, I change the offset and the wheels are turning. Whoa, whoa, turn it off. Oh. turn it all off. So here's what happened. I put too high of a voltage into the steering line, things on the remote shut down, and all the control lines went to zero volts. Unfortunately, the neutral position for the throttle line is like 1.2 volts, so when the throttle control went to zero volts, the car decided it was time for a drag race. I, I'm probably lucky I didn't fry the chip. So now we need to put a voltage limit on our inputs so that we don't do that again. This is definitely something you should do. One of the most common uses for a function generator is to plug in a signal and tweak the parameters like amplitude or frequency and see how the device under test responds. If you're doing testing like this, be better than me and turn on your limits before you learn the hard way like I just did. Well, it still works, I guess it's the medium way. So we know that the steering works. The next step is to make sure we can get throttle and steering working together. We'll use some stock waveforms out of our function generator. Everything should be set up. Let's turn it on and see what happens. There you go, zero volts. And as soon as I turn on the throttle, it stabilizes. And steering. Looks good. Let's see where it goes. No, wait. <laughs> so obviously the next step is to record live signals with the remote control through an obstacle course and see if we can replay the signals and get the car to, by itself, drive through the obstacle course. I'm really nervous. I don't think anyone has ever done this with this tool chain before, but let's give it a go. The first thing we need to do is drive the car through the obstacle course and record the signals with the oscilloscope. We'll save these signals to a flash drive and put them onto my laptop. 
Here are signals from the scope in Benchlink Waveform Builder Pro. The software is included with the function generators and lets you create all sorts of custom waveforms. We're happy with these signals as is, so we can just save it as an arbitrary waveform file and load it into the function generator. Here's how we're gonna drive the car automatically. So we have our ARBs loaded into our function generator. Coming out of our function generator is a BNCT, so I can see the signals on my scope as they come out, and so that we can pipe signals into our remote control board. You can see I have a channel into throttle and a channel into control. I also have this fun big red button with the key, because you know, you gotta have a key for your big red button, and that is set up to our trigger port. So when I hit the button, it will trigger a single shot burst of my signal so that it doesn't just keep running into infinity. There we go, let's try this. Really hope this works. It turns out, this is really tough. The car appears to reset its baseline voltage levels every time it reboots, so we're gonna do it all again from the beginning and see if we get a better result. I know you have it in you. Okay. Big red button. Makes it more dramatic. Let's go. Go. Oh, that was so close. Oh, it's really close. Oh, it leans hard. Go, go, go. Yes. It works. Oh, I'm so happy. Good car. I now have a car that copies my every move thanks to my function generator. This is maybe not so practical for like a manufacturing line like that, but if you had a test that you had to run over and over and over that was very precise, a function generator is the perfect tool so you don't have to sit there with a remote control and drive around equipment all day, although that does sound kind of fun. This has all been part of Keysight University Live. Today's winners are here. There are more winners over on the microsite. We're giving away some big prizes today, so go check it out. The link is down below. I'll see you over there. We'll even talk a little more about this rig. Sign up for Keysight University Live.